In the late 90s, CEPR co-founders Dean Baker and Mark Weisbrot saw that there were a number of vitally important economic issues that were widely misunderstood by the public. Policymakers and the press often have a lack of understanding of economics, which can lead to a misinformed public as well as legislation that's not based on sound economic theory. This lack of understanding is a major hindrance to social and economic progress, not just here at home, but the world over. Baker and Weisbrot created CEPR to tackle these issues by directly addressing not just academia and policymakers, but the press and public, engaging them in the hope of fostering a healthy understanding of the biggest economic challenges we face. Much of CEPR's work focuses on changing the debate in Washington so that jobs and unemployment are at the forefront not deficit reduction. We will continue to inform the press, policymakers, and the public on the facts about budget issues and remind everyone that our current deficits are the result of the collapse of the housing bubble and the recession, not vital programs like Social Security that are crucial components of the economic security of millions of Americans. CEPR is committed to accessibility. Our founders wanted to create an organization that presents thoughtful, well-researched economic analysis in language that is both media and layman friendly. CEPR accomplishes this, doing what most other Washington think tanks do not. We produce high quality research quickly and efficiently, and we do it in a way that reporters and the public can easily understand. CEPR's unique structure has helped make its impact on the media and influence on policy debates comparable to institutions ten times our size. Based on an analysis of think tanks done by fairness and accuracy in reporting, CEPR was the most cost-effective think tank in the United States, outpacing all others in terms of media citations and website traffic per budget dollar. CEPR also works with advocacy groups around the nation to ensure that its research informs policy debates not only in Washington, but in local state houses. And our economists and policy experts provide briefings and congressional testimony on a regular basis on a number of economic issues. Success can be hard to quantify. But CEPR is consistently focused on meeting and exceeding goals and surpassing expectations. That said, we've enjoyed successes on a number of tangible levels. CEPR has been successful in getting its work covered in most major media outlets, including CNN, The New York Times, USA Today, and others. We have furthered our reach through social media, and our followers on sites like Facebook, Twitter, and Reddit grow every day. And pound for pound, we have more media citations per budget dollar than any other think tank in the U.S. A big misconception about CEPR is that we're funded by the government. In truth, we're funded by private foundations, nonprofit groups, and everyday people. That means we're nonpartisan and we can critique policies independent of politics. CEPR has always been able to present accurate and accessible analysis, often much faster than other organizations. Just as important, we've been ahead of the curve on a number of issues. Dean Baker, a co-founder of CEPR, was the first economist to go on record pointing out the housing bubble and explaining that when the bubble popped, it would lead to a serious and deep recession. We've consistently pointed out and challenged misconceptions about economic growth and policies in Latin America and Europe. And we played a key role in stopping the privatization of Social Security in the 2000s. Our work on paid family leave, particularly in California and Connecticut, has helped make it clear that rather than being job killers, these policies have actually proven to be beneficial in the cities and states that adopt them. A big challenge is that many people are turned off when they hear the words Washington think tank. We are too. A lot of people don't know exactly what a think tank does, and if they do, they wonder why they should support them financially. 
but CEPR is a small outfit that lacks the bandwidth of larger organizations of similar output. And while the amount of research and reports done by our economists and experts is quite significant, there's much more that we could do. In fact, the Guardian newspaper has said, CEPR has a total budget smaller than some other think tanks' entertainment funds, but they make a rather effective David in a world of Goliaths. Given our small size, one of CEPR's priorities is the addition of more researchers and support staff. So far, we've played above the rim and have accomplished quite a bit despite our limited resources. But there are a number of areas that we have not been able to devote attention to due simply to a lack of people power. A larger staff would allow us to focus on a wider range of policies and allow more specialized research. We could also expand our website and digital presence to reach even more stakeholders. And we could continue to make sure CEPR data, one of the largest and most accessible sources of processed economic data, is available to the public for free. Based on our limited resources and small size, there are some issues that we aren't able to give full attention to. Right now, one of the more important topics that we can't address as much as we would like is the issue of work-life balance for Americans. We would like to do more extensive research on women's participation in the labor force and how the increase in working women has affected the economy as a whole. We'd also like to study family issues such as children's supplemental security insurance and poverty. We touch on some of these issues when we can, but additional resources would allow us to tackle these issues and many more.